I want it on public record that I wish I had something a lot better than a slice of bread in which to test and review these products. But I honestly don't know what else would work and also be so convenient. Anyway. Rio de Janeiro Carnaval. Obviously, this is not my first impression. I had this yesterday with my beef and rice. No, sorry. Well, ground meat and rice, I should say. But, anyways, let's try it. Very small bottle, so hopefully potent. Does tingle the nose. Doesn't necessarily singe the nose. But it's a definite strong tingle, so. I should have thought ahead and grabbed a plate so I don't spill. Anyways, there is an idea of how much I put on. I'm just going to attempt to eat that portion. Okay, I have to bear in mind this is whole wheat Dempster's bread. I'm trying another sample. I am going to attempt over the other, the rest of the bread to soak this sample. It's relatively soaked. When I say there's a spice to it, I mean exactly is that a spice. There isn't really any heat at all. In regards to, but this is by no means a quality comparison. Let's, let's get that out of the way. Also, another reason I'm doing this, I'm a type 1 diabetic, test my blood sugars, and they're relatively low, so I need something to eat. Convenient, isn't it? By no means, in regard to quality, this tastes a lot better. But in regard to suggest Heat. Frank's is hotter. And I keep hoping maybe it's a uh, covert heat. Maybe it's something that sneaks up on you when you least expect it. But I did have it. Yesterday was my beef, or was my rice, and it was ground pork actually, but...
remember enjoying the flavor. I also remember being disappointed that there's just simply no heat. Saying that, that's in regards to generic what I have available in Ontario hot sauce. It is what I've come to expect in regards to any sort of hot sauce advertising itself as not even Brazilian, just Rio de Janeiro. I've had, now that I think of it, no kind of Brazilian hot sauce that I remember anyways that does not specifically advertise Rio de Janeiro. But in regards to what I know I've had, and remember this is pretty standard. Now in regards to what I expect of the standard of heat, Frankly, I just don't expect any heat from the not particular advertised type of hot sauce, but in regards to flavor. My standard of flavor, this is honestly quite good. The aroma is better in regards to heat and the flavor. I was expecting a little bit of kick out of this. This isn't even really a nudge. But in regards to just quality of flavor, this is good. I'm not disappointed I got this. It was part of a sort of stocking stuffer Christmas. <coughs> Yeah, no, even, not even any heat in the burp, but yeah, it was part of a sort of stocking stuffer variety of hot sauces that I get essentially every year. Final rating. I feel I'm going to have to give two different ratings for these hot sauces. Final rating in regards to heat, 10 out of 100. It's boring. There is no heat. Final rating in regards to overall quality and flavor, however, 82. It's a really good flavor. It just has no heat. And I'm very disappointed that this is what I chose to sort of redo this playlist on my YouTube channel, which I think only has one. Two including this, but yeah. Hindsight's always perfect. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Take care and bye.